Hi guys, it's the Cartographer here, and today we'll be doing We Do Not Need Light, But Fire. This next trial comes back to stomp on our necks after three trials in a row of only being gently pulverised. It's quite a straightforward trial on paper, but the aggressive and unfair grunt spawning will remind you of the cruelty of mankind. We have five minutes to kill and banish seven, seven immolators and kill 15 grunts with fire. For the hard challenge, we have to avoid all fire damage ourselves. The grunts in this mission spawn almost directly in front of you at times. It's a bit unfair, I'd say. There's also quite a lot of them. Um, <clears throat> the saving grace is that the immolators have fixed spawn positions for once, so that's quite nice. I'll show you my preferred route of getting around the map and getting the kills, and we'll take you from there. I'll see you in there, guys. All right then, guys. The first thing you're going to know is you've got bladed weaponry all around, so you can't melee any of the immolators. You have to rely on hitting them. The first two, I just rely on shooting with the most Nagam because you're out in the open and you've got some sort of, you know, long line of sight on them. Try and get their attention before shooting, especially the second one, as he's got a tendency to just run away if um, if he doesn't see you. We got really lucky there where we did actually take fire damage, but it's not counted. That can occasionally happen, and it happens in my three-star run as well. For this next one, what I do is I run past and shoot that barrel once. I then just sprint away, and that's because normally a lot of grunts have built up by now. I then, once I come round here, shoot this um, immolator here, and when he gets close, then I just unload into him with the fanning. Um, that's my best way of dealing with that one. That sort of choke point there will allow you to get a lot of grunt fire kills. We're then going to have to sprint around to the prison. Now, I always go around this compound now because the grunts, when you get into that area, will spawn directly in front of you. It's incredibly annoying and I'd say genuinely unfair. You'll see them probably, yeah, look, they're just not interested in you. But if you run through that bit, you have to deal with them. And if you come around here, you can blow up that lantern and get a few more grunt kills. We now have to get into the prison, as I've previously said. Sometimes when you shoot that second immolator, he'll blow up this barrel, but other times you have to do it. I recommend doing it because it just sets up another choke point for you. Now remember, you can take any damage that you like apart from fire damage, so fall down here. In this next bit, shoot this immolator, move forward a little bit, and use a couple of your cold well bullets to kill him interact immediately turn around and do the second one here soon the grunts will start coming through the door so you want to deal with this as quick as possible keep moving forward i would i was going to say sometimes that doesn't get set off but i would make sure it does you can see the grunts have started to come through now most of them you don't need to worry about the only ones you do need to worry about are the ones with um um, carrying a torch. If this happens to you and the immolator gets close, um, there's not much you can do about it, unfortunately. Because um, what you can't do is you just can't shoot them, otherwise they will do their little fire attack. So what you need to do is put some distance between you, put an obstacle between you, or... Um, is he gone? Ah, that was weird. I think he's teleported. Either way, you need to put some distance between you, like I said. You can't be hanging around. Take the damage, because it just doesn't really matter. Once you've got that one, the last one, sort of around um, back where we've previously come before. Now, you might be running a bit low on ammo, but <clears throat> you should be okay for time. Time is not a problem. If you've blown up the barrels and gone around the way I've shown you, you should be okay for time. Once you've cleared the prison, come around the back of it and go the full way round. You've got time, and then the last immolator you can shoot in a safe place. Um, and you don't have to worry so much about, about anything else, which is quite nice. So once you come to here, um, or in a sort of safe place, I remember it being safer than that. Maybe I've gone a different way to how I've been looking at it, but... Ooh, that's a bit annoying. Um, it's a pretty uncomfortable mission and it's pure there's a lot of luck to it based on where the grunts spawn follow the sort of path i've shown you i know it's a bit bit different but um 
you know, those first two run straight forward, kill them with the most in Nargan, make sure you get the second one's attention because he tends to run away. Then just ignore everything, sprint through, shoot that barrel, and then just jump over that fence like I showed you, and you'll have time to kill the third one. Loop the whole way around the compound and go into the prison from the side and blow up the lantern and the barrel. By now, most of your fire kills should be sorted. Let's try and do the inside of the prison as quick as you can. Jump over the ledge, move forward that little bit, headshot the first one, couple of fanning bullets. Do a 180, headshot the other one, couple of fanning bullets. Make sure the barrels outside the front of the building have blown up. You need to kill that third immolator in there. Normally, he'll just run through the outside. If he gets close, do what I showed you. Run away, put some distance between you, otherwise their explosion attack will cause fire damage. Then leave the asylum from the back, loop back in, and then you'll have another long line of sight in on that last immolator. It's, like I said, quite annoying. <clears throat> Never bother going for the melee on um, the immolators. Don't worry about damage from the grunts as long as they're not carrying a torch. And um, I hope that helps. Look, my three-star run, run has a better pathing than the one I've just showed you, so keep pay close attention to that. But I hope I've sort of displayed, um, you know, the general principles and the common pitfalls of this level, which I think is actually quite hard. All right then, guys, all the best, and I'll see you in the next one.